Ah yes, BattleBots. The only place where grown men spend years building a 250 pound heavy robot to inevitably destroy it in a BattleBot. Yeah, I want to build that, but from LEGO Brick. If I'm going to build a BattleBot, I have no choice but to choose a most destructive BattleBot award winner. Tombstone. <laughs> With this battle ball in mind, I have four requirements. One, destructive. Two, matching look. Three, easy control. And four, destructive. Did I say destructive already? When this machine is all built up, I'm going to test its movability and destructiveness against various different objects. I might even ask somebody else to battle this machine with their own battle ball if this video does well. So without further ado, let's head to step one. So I started the map out where all the motors were going to go. The machine was going to use two motors for the driving and two motors for spinning the blade. I focused on the spinning blade first because of our requirements. I basically connected the two motors via a lot of gears that increased the speed. Remember I mapped out where all the motors were going to go? Well, I'm afraid I didn't do the same for the sensors. I obviously needed a way to control the machine because how else would you be able to destroy things with it? I first wanted to do this using the Lego Mindstorm's remote control, but you need a sensor to be able to receive the commands from the remote. There is a perfect space underneath the gears in the front, but if there's going to be a spinning blade and blades covering it, it's not going to pick up any signals. So let's just not do this and consider it a future me problem. On to another problem. The motors for the wheels are actually slightly off-centered and I want this machine to be double-sided. At this point it can drive on one side fine, but when you flip it the other way it's not even touching the floor. So we need to offset the wheels by one stop. Now let's continue with the front. I made a rough shape of the front and attached a gear to it to test out the incredible speeds the blade was going to spin at. Oh. When I geared up the blade this much, I also drastically decreased the torque. With this amount of power, it is never going to spin the blade. So I changed some gears and it now works perfectly. Lastly, I built the iconic red blade. It is quite heavy and I think this can do some nice damage. So we unfortunately do need to think about how we're going to control it now. Since I can't use the IR remote, I'm going to use my new buddy Bluetooth. So I made this app for my phone to control the battle ball. It has two sliders on the sides to control the left and right wheel and a big red button in the center to start and stop the spinning blade. Let's test it. The good news is that the app works. The bad news is that the machine is actually too heavy and it can't move. So I had to change the entire driving system and make it stronger using different sized gears. Tombstone is now actually completely working. We can connect the phone to the Mindstorm brick via Bluetooth, we can control the wheels and start and stop the spinning blade. We're done. I don't like the app. Yes, that's right. In my opinion, it's not comfortable. You have your hands around the square screen where you don't actually feel what you're doing. I mean, it works, but if I'm in the middle of a tough battle, I don't want to be bothered by the fact that it's extremely uncomfortable to control the machine. I just wish something like a Bluetooth controller existed. Guess we're using a PlayStation controller. One little problem though, Mindstorms isn't exactly a PlayStation, so making the PlayStation controller work with the Mindstorms was actually really difficult to do. I had to program it using Python and I had to learn this all by myself. But after a lot of head scratching, I can now connect the PlayStation controller to the Mindstorms and it feels so good. We have a left and right joystick to control the left and right wheel and these buttons on the back to start and stop the spinning blade. I guess it's finally time to test this machine. Okay, is it working? Oh yeah, man, it feels so good. So we're first going to test the movability. Okay, that went quite smooth. For the second and last test, we're going to test the power of the spinning blade and if it would make for a good battle bot. Okay, we have a lot of objects to destroy and this is going to be epic. Well, that was epic. I have actually done some sumo battles with Mindstorm drops a few years ago, but I think I can say I've improved since then. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.